Yeah, okay, for those that don't know about it, uh, these two companies, old ones, 10 horsepower probably, and I don't know, up to 16 horsepower, they've got overhead valves. And in order to get the head off this thing, you've got to take this assembly off. And of course, doing that, you've got to take your take your uh, valves and everything loose. And uh, the only way I know how to do that, well, I guess you could jam something down in here or something. I don't know. Anyway, I made this little gadget. It's an old spark plug. Talk all the guts out of it, Portland. Screw this air chuck into it. And you screw it in the, you screw it in there. A spark plug hole like this. And actually, you need to have your uh, piston up on top, dead center, and lock it. Best way to do that so that it'll hold it up anyway. If you ever drop a valve on down, then you're, then you're in trouble. You, you got to take your head off for sure. Of course, you're going to take it off no matter. But anyway, put this thing in here. Put your air hook, your air chuck. Stick it in here. Stick it on. And that'll hold them valves up. You can take take these clips out. Pull these things off. Then what I did is I got a little, I made a little wrench here someplace. I don't even want it done with it now, but it's bent. Bent so I can hook it under here, push down on these valve things here. And there's a wrench right here. Of course, you got to have these rocker arms off first. Push this underneath here and it goes up on here. Pull up on that. It pushes that down. You can get your keepers out. Naturally, remember, these will be off at the time. These will be off. So you put this down, pull your keepers out, pull the springs off and do the same for the other side. And then you can go ahead and take these three little bolts out here, get the assembly off, you got old rings in here and old rings in there, it's a little hard to pull, but you'll get it. And uh, then, when you get this off, then you can actually get to all your head bolts. There's one back in here you cannot get without taking this off. It's kind of a pain, I grant you it's a pain, but if you get this little air chuck. Now this will also work on the overhead valve cars, the older ones. If you want to work on a valve or something and don't want to pull the head off, you make you one of these little chuck deals here. and. Uh, Put it in there and uh, pump your put your air compressor. You need probably at least 90, maybe 100, 120 pounds. I got about 120 pounds here. And that'll push up on them valves so tight you can actually push these down. Now you may need it, you may find it necessary after these are off. Remember, these would be off or now. You might find it necessary to peck this a little bit around the edge. Not your valve, don't bend your valve. Peck it like this, that'll free up those keepers. So then when you push it down, you can just pull them off. Don't lose them because you have to have a heck of a time finding them if you do. So anyway, that's the gist of the deal there. And like I said, this needs to be up on top of that center of the piston. It'll work otherwise, but you've got a long ways to go. And if you should knock that down far enough, losing too much pressure, you drop your valve right on top of that piston. Then you got to get the head off. But then again, if you're going to be working on your taking the head off anyway, it don't really matter. But anyway, that's the gist of it. Just a little helpful hint if anybody needs to. Like I say, you take a you just take an old spark plug, 14 millimeter take off the electrode deal here and all that stuff knock it out of there so he's hollow. Take an air chuck here and uh, I just in this case I just screwed it in fit tight. The other one I made I welded it around here. Don't matter. It'll work either way. Okay that's just a little helpful hint. Try to, try to make it easier. Most of you probably knew that or some of you probably did but maybe not all of you. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye now.